All right, this is Custom Chess for Roma Custom Bike. We are here in Northborough, Massachusetts at Stone Cycles. We are seeing some incredible bikes. Uh, would you like to tell us something about the fantastic ride I've seen upstairs? Yeah, that was built as a show bike only. We tried to win the Rats Hole show. So we knew that it had to be unique, so we built our own frame. And that's our own engine. It's a four cam motor. Okay, and so you built the engine as well? Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's our own belt drive, our own brakes. We may put the, the headlights in the Fiat tank. And I've seen that. I recognize that feature from somewhere, and uh, I hear that it's been in a lot of magazines yeah. in Europe. Yeah. So yeah. we hit the suspension in the rear frame. We made our own type of a Springer Type Four. Yep. In front. fact, I saw the, the. I thought it was a Regent. Yeah. yeah it's got this uh, neoprene system. Yes. Uh, they told me. Yes. Yes. It's so. Three Three different types of neoprene, uh, almost like a tube in there, and they're all different values. One is 300 pounds, one is 200. So if you get 100 pounds of pressure, the first one will collapse. If it gets up to 200 pounds of pressure, it starts to go on to the second. And 300 pounds, which is six, three on each side, right. 600 pounds of force, it starts to collapse the last one. Okay, so, so it, you get, it, it does look like a rigid, yeah. yet you've got some sort of shock absorbency and... Some. It, it has about an inch and a quarter of travel. Okay. The axle. And um, I imagine all the engineering that goes into building that with the, with the, with the inch on the bottom and uh, having the, 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 the piston, let's say, travel straight into the tube must have been uh, quite a headache. Well, I, I come up with the ideas, but I have a friend that's a machinist. Okay. And he's part-time inventor also, so he helped me out with the, you know, the mechanical drawings and machining to make the things work. I'd come out with the basic idea and then he would do the fine-tuning on it and help us produce the part. And I'm sure there's been a lot of that because uh, it's uh, seamless, it looks like a rigid. They actually had to point out to me that it wasn't. Also the front suspension was uh, really fantastic. But let's come to this piece of jewelry right here. Um, all copper made. Um, you made all this from uh, from scratch. This is one of your frames yes. um, with the oil running through the actual frame. Yes. Um, and right here is where you put your filter, filter if I'm not wrong. Here, yes. And um, how long did it take you to do tank the headlight house and the, the, the fender? It, it took me three weeks. I have people that come into the store and want to talk to me, so I don't work an eight hour day. Right. But three weeks of work, mostly probably four to five hours every day just to build the tank. Only the tank? Only the tank. Wow. And uh, I made a few mistakes the first time I, I had it all together and I had a, one little spot from where the weld, a little pinhole. Yeah. And I tried to repair it. It the metal moved and it sunk in a little bit and I started to try to sand it out and I sanded it through the tank. Wow. So I had to start all over. That, that sucks, yeah. I, it, yeah. not to this level, but some stuff has happened to me recently where I've had to start all over again, yeah. Yeah. actually with my tank. It's very frustrating. And, uh, it is incredibly frustrating. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on your creation. They're yeah. really fantastic. Right. And, uh, nice to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you very much.